Y'all gonna make it. Right here's the finish line. Y'all gonna make a mad dash. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this, young people? <laughs> On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> mad dash. No water. Y'all hang tight. You're not done. Now, what if I was to tell them after, or or even before they took off running, that there was a firing squad waiting at the end of the finish line? You think the dash would have been the same? Do you think the persistence to reach the end would have been the same? I don't think so. I don't think so. And this is what I want y'all to do. I want you to imagine right down the middle of this aisle that there is a path that's about 18 inches wide. Okay? It's very narrow. And I want you to line up. Brother Clay, you're going to represent our pastor tonight. Right here. Brother Chase, our youth pastor. Brother Bo, Sister Dixon, you're our parents. Turn and face the other way if you would, John. Brother Giovanni, I want you to get to the back of the line. Now, you think y'all can walk backwards all the way to the back? I should have told y'all to get in the back. Okay, y'all ready? You think they can do it? Not a lot of faith in this room, brother. Okay, y'all go back to the back door, please. Walk backwards to the back door. The Bible says that wide is the gate that leadeth to destruction. But narrow is the gate, that's good, but narrow is the gate that leadeth to life. And it also says that few find it. Now this is what the Lord showed me, and this is, may not be deep to you, but this hit home with me tonight. We've got a pastor, we've got a youth pastor, we've got our parents, and we've got our young person. Now just a few moments ago, they all made a mad dash for the finish line. There was no order. There was no direction. It was just, I'm starting here and I'm getting there. Right. Exactly the way sin works. Right. You think about nothing else uh, but about getting to the end. Right. About, about what's on the other side of the line. Come on. Right. But the Bible says that there is a narrow path, uh -huh. Pastor Colbert, that we've got to walk down. I want you to slowly start marching. Now, you've got an 18 inch wide path. No. Don't step off. You ever go to the mountains? You ever been on one of them mountain roads? You don't want to be in a car in some of them places. There ain't no way. There, it's either you back down or I go forward. There's no way. If you go around, you're going off. So if y'all go around each other, you're going off. You got a thousand foot canyon on either side of you, okay? All right. This is serious. So we're slowly marching 18 inches wide. Let's go. That's sometimes the way it is. Sometimes it's hard to be on the path. Okay, y'all pause for just a second. Now this young man back here, he's kind of got the wrong end of the deal. He's at the back of the pack. He's following parents. He's following youth pastor. And he's following pastor. He can't see what's ahead of him. But sometimes we get in a hurry. And we want to do things our way. And what happens when we try to go around? You just went off a thousand foot canyon, buddy. Uh -oh. mm. What happens when we try to go around the authority of our parents? Come on. Come on. We just walk out of the way. Yeah. What happens when we rush around our youth pastor's direction? We just walked out of the way. What happens when we say, Pastor, we don't need your leadership anymore. I got this. We just walked off a cliff. Go to the back of the rock. If you're going to make heaven, young people, if we're going to get there, it's going to be because you followed somebody. You followed somebody to get there. And as long as pastor's in the way, and as long as my youth pastor's in the way, and as long as my parents in the way, then the Bible says that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Because if he said 
pastor. But let me tell you what our pastor said just a few days ago. Some of the most spiritual influences you'll ever have in your life is the people that raised you. Now, it's your ever- 